Hey guys, the first Metal Gear Solid game that I enjoyed and played and sunk around 185 plus hours of game time I present to you Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, Collector's Edition for the PS4 um, This is presented in a rather unusually shaped box uh, and you'll see why in a second uh, the box itself, as you can see here, has a nice leathery feel to it. Um, obviously, it's, it is fake. Um, so if I, if I kind of zoom in here a little bit, there it is. You can see it's got a um, uh, leathery feel. And there's these stitches um, that are printed on the box, um, which I think looks great. It looks nice. Gives it a, um, a nice premium look. All right. Now... The box itself, uh, obviously, there it is. You've also got this yellow s strap here that keeps the box shut. And uh, again, you'll see why in a second. It also has these half wraps uh, on the top and on the bottom. And obviously, it is there to add in the PS4 logo, the name of the game, and for the retailer to add in the classif classification sticker down the bottom. Um, now, also, if we spin this box around to the back, you'll see that the back shows you what is inside what what the collector's edition contains right so there it is in the middle I'll just qu quickly show you there you've got the game here the steel case the collectible steel book um the phantom pain collector's disc you've got here the map and also a half scale replica of snake's bionic arm uh, now down the bottom you'll see the additional game content uh, that you get for purchasing the collector's edition and on top obviously you have the little um, uh, blurb there as to uh, telling you you know what's happened so far uh, what's going on all right now um, also um, because you know why the box is like this is because obviously because of the replica arm right now there is another thing another item that you get when you purchase this collector's edition that is not shown on the back okay so let me remind you again okay if i spin this around you'll see there uh these are all the contents obviously there's one item missing and that is this it is a fridge magnet depicting the logo for Diamond Dogs, right? Let me take that, get that up closer. There we are. There we go. So when you purchase this collector's edition, this fridge magnet actually comes uh, st stuck to the front. So let me spin this around. It actually comes in sitting like that, okay? Now, so obviously there's a sticky, um, a sticky residue uh, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that sits on the back of the magnet and it's it's stuck to the middle of this yellow strap so the yellow strap um, serves two purposes right obviously to keep the box shut and also to you know so that this fridge magnet has a place to sit right there now unfortunately for my fridge magnet um, there is a small paint chip at the bottom uh, so you can see it right there down the bottom there's a small paint chip now this is caused when we moved houses I accidentally put this one, uh, this fridge magnet, uh, into a box and uh, must have had a fight with one of the other fridge magnets. Uh, and yeah, I'd like to say that I do take care of my items, but unfortunately this one slipped. Uh, you know how it is with moving houses. Um, but besides that, you know, everything else, uh, it's, it's still, it's really, it's, it's in good, obviously, condition. Um, yeah, but besides that paint chip, it, it, it annoys me to this day, but you know, what are you going to do, right? So there it is, that is the fridge magnet. Now, let us open it up and see the contents um, of, of the box. Okay, so I'm gonna unsticky this. Now you'll also, um, you know, it, this still sticks, right? So like, like I said, you know, I do take care of my things and these do still stick, right? So let's take off the, um, the half wrap, get that out of the way. Let's also take off the yellow strap in the middle Put that out of the way, and now let's open this up. Now, as you can see, uh, just a reminder, this box has no, if, if I left it as is, this box has no logo, no markings, nothing to, to tell you that, you know, you, this is a Metal Gear Solid 5 game. So, there is, there's the front, right? There's a the side. There is the back, okay? And don't mistake the back to the front. Um, the back has a, you know, th this is, uh, this, that's black. Um, obviously, that's where it, it's stuck together. There's a side and there's a front. The front, you can see there's a white um, line there. And there's a top and there's the bottom. So nothing at all, right? 
So we open it up sideways, okay? Careful not to rip the box, and there we are. Okay, now obviously this is the replica bionic arm. Now I'll get to that in a second. I'll show you the other things first. So I'm gonna put this to the side, just like that. And the first thing that I want you to show you is obviously the game itself, right? There it is for the PS4, right? Not to be sold separately, obviously, because this comes in a, in a collector's edition. Uh, there's a front, you know, there's a spine, obviously right there, and there is the back of it. Uh, it's all for revenge. There we are. If we open this up, we get a couple of things. Obviously, we get the Blu-ray disc right there. Now, if I um, take this off, you know, there it is. There's a Blu-ray disc, right? Uh, you also get four leaflets. Now, the four leaflets are, uh, first of all, the controllers, uh, the controller um, leaflet. So, you know, what, how, how you can play it. Default controls, um, there it is. Right, there's the back of it, uh, and you know how to use the radio, what the vehicle, vehicle controls are, etc. You also have the day one additional content, uh, and obviously the code is printed on the back of this. Uh, you have the Metal Gear Online additional content, and again the code is printed on the back of this um, leaflet here. And finally, you have the complete official guide for Metal Gear Solid 5. Now, unfortunately. I don't have this one. I'd like to get the collector's edition if I could find it. Um, maybe one day. And obviously the back just tells you, um, well, you know, uh, what, what, what it's good for, right? But yeah, essentially that is everything you get. And obviously the, um, yeah, the precautions and all that is, is printed on the, um, uh, the back of the cover. Uh, and that's all you get inside of the, the game case, right? There we are. Next up we have the steel case, the collector's edition steel case. So let's take that off. I'm gonna move this slightly to the back. There we are, All right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Snake and Miller. And there's, and I'm pretty sure that's uh, Oslot, um, revolver Oslot. There we are. There's the spine of it. And if we open this up, that's what it looks like. There you go, very nice indeed. And as you can see, uh, there's no, oh yeah, there's a little bit of, um, uh, there's no dings or anything like that, okay? Now, what is inside? Inside the steel case uh, contains the bonus collector's edition disc, which is right there. This disc contains uh, a couple of videos, uh, trailers, promos, and I believe a music video. Now, FYI, one of the videos in this bonus disc it what is what makes people think that this game is unfinished. Uh, we won't get into that discussion. There's plenty of that in Google. Uh, also, a couple of videos in Google. If you uh, if you search for, I believe, incomplete Phantom episode or something like that, but it's it's all it's all in there. Okay. The other thing that you get is the map. So let's take take a look at the map itself. Here we are. And immediately you can see here, oh great, it's, it's an Angola somewhere. Now if we open this up, okay, there we are. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, the Angola Zaira uh, border region, right? Uh, we've got the oil field, the Casiba camp, the plantation, the mine, the valley, uh, Van Village, etc. And you've also got here all the, um, uh, the different uh, points of interest uh, from 1 to 23, uh, guard posts and, and, and whatnot. Okay, so that is the... Um, uh, the Angola Zaire uh, border region. On the back of this shows you Northern Kabul in Afghanistan, right? There we are. And again, you've got the central base camp, the ruins, the outposts and all that. And down the bottom, uh, you've got, you know, obviously the um, uh, points of interest, the, east, the guard posts and, 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 and all of that. Okay, so that is, uh, that is the collector's edition map. All right. Now let's uh, put these all away, and we'll get to the um, the good part, which is the replica snake's arm. All right, which is in this box right here. So I'm going to open it up. Uh, here we are. There we go. And let's take this out of this uh, plastic mold. There we are. I'm going to put this right here. There we go. Now I yeah. So, a couple of things uh, that you need to know about this uh, half-scale replica of Snake's eye, Bionic Arm. So, this arm is fully posable, okay? The arm can technically hold smaller objects uh, in here. However, 
the joints are not that tight. It's a little loose, so holding things can be a little tricky, as you can see here. If I just, there it is, right? A little shake, and the fingers are all, all over the place, okay? So you've got here the base, obviously. You can take off the base, right? And you can have it um, lying down or what, what have you. Um, but yeah, there's, there's the um, half scale. Uh, you know, you've got this little uh, diamond dogs. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just quickly zoom in there. Oh, where's the zoom? There it is. Diamond Dogs R&D, uh, Artificial Limbs Laboratory. Uh, all these different uh, markings on the um, uh, on the arm itself. Uh, you know, obviously you can you know you can move the joints, right? You can spin the joints, move it up and down. Uh, the thumb can bend in, can bend out. Ooh, that looks uh, looks like it'll hurt. Uh, you can also um, you can see there there's a there's a uh, there's a ball joint inside the, hopefully you can see that, let me just quickly again zoom in here. Oh, there it is, uh, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, there's a ball joint here so you can move the, the, um, the, the thumb uh, back and forth. And obviously, um, you know, the fingers, they, they, they do close in, right? You can make a fist out of this. There we are. There we go. And uh, yeah, rocket punch someone. All right, but yeah, that is the um, uh, replica half scale uh, replica of Snake's arm. It's, it's really nice, and yeah, the joints are. Um, I don't know if these are real. Uh, I, I guess they are. You can you can sort of tighten these um, screws here. Uh, let me just again quickly zoom in. Oh, where are we? That's a bit blurry, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully you can see that. But there's uh, there are screws on each of these joints. Um, and yeah, you can, I guess you can um, tighten them a little bit, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't see the point in doing that to be honest with you. So um, I'll just leave it as is. Um, but yeah, the, that, that's it really for the um, replica, replica snake's arm. Now, again, with most of my collector's edition, I don't really, um, you know, uh, display them because A, I have no space and B, yeah, I just you know, leave it as is in its box, I guess, in, in, intact. Um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for the collector's edition for Metal Gear Solid 5 for the PS4. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any uh, of my future videos. Uh, until next time, ciao.